Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. Uh, for the last week, US markets were up almost about 3, 3.5% and even European markets on Friday were up about uh, 0.5 to almost 1% and uh, the Eurozone finance ministers meet is going to take place today where we could have some clarity on the current Greece issue. Uh, when we look at the Asian markets, uh, uh, Hang Seng is flat but uh, Nikkei is up almost 0.6 to 0.7% and which is helped by the weak yen and now yen has actually gone down to almost 8 months lowest level of about 82.31 which is helping the uh, Japanese equity markets. So back home our markets were also dull because of the uh, parliament session which is underway and for the second consecutive day uh, no business took place uh, and today there is going to be an all party meet where they are trying to uh, find a solution of this particular deadlock so one will have to watch and see how things move on but overall global queues are very supportive and as per the technical analysts if uh, 5650 on the spot and about 5660 on the future if that is crossed then there could be a very uh, sharp run up in the market of about 80 to 100 points so one could really look at buying a 5700 call for current month in case the market crosses this level and stabilizes for some time. So this is something that uh, we would be watching out for. In terms of flows friends, on Friday FIs were net buyers to the tune of about 347 crore and the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 165 odd crore. On that note, let me invite uh, Shaival to take us through important FNOQs, uh, ideas and strategies that we could look at in the FNO market. Good morning friends. Let's have a view at derivatives now. friends. Uh, de depreciating rupee, uh, gloomy global economic as well as the logjam in the parliament has led to some profit booking in the Friday trade but still the PCR ratio has managed to sustain above the mark of 1 and is at 1.03. Now talking about the implied volatility what we have seen that it has further decreased by around 50 to 100 basis point and as we are approaching, uh, as we are approaching closer towards the expiry what we have seen is that the activity on the options front has squeezed down and has been concentrated at 5600 700 and 800 strikes now 5600 call option uh, sorry put option as well as call option of december series has seen a pretty good activity whereas if we talk about the about the current month then uh, still the activity in uh, 5600 uh, put option is pretty active now on the on the Call from 5700 call option has around 87 lakh shares in the open interest whereas 5800 call option of December series has around 27 lakh shares in the open interest. Uh, VWAP is at 5675 and we, as we are uh, trading below that we advise for the market is still negative but as uh, we see some bounces in the market the momentum would continue but uh, the VWAP level that is 5675 would act as a hurdle for the market and if markets are not able to sustain or take out those levels and if slides further downward then probably our target would be 5550. From intraday perspective we have identified three stocks and as SGX Nifty is uh, suggesting a positive opening we would like to play on the positive side. Excess Bank is looking positive one can maintain a stop loss of 1239.80. Coal India is also looking good one can buy it with stop loss of 352 rupees 65 paisa. And Sun Pharma, Sun Pharma is also looking good. One can maintain a stop loss of 695 rupees 15 paisa. That's all. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, uh, there is going to be a change in the MSCI weightage for certain stocks effective 30th of November. And uh, in that, uh, the weightage of HCL Tech is likely to go by almost 2.5 times. And at the same time, the weightage of Tata Motors and Ultratech Cement is uh, likely to come down. So we are seeing some selling pressure in these two stocks for the past few days mainly because of that. And uh, in case of the mid cap index, uh, the in weightage of DV's lab at United Breweries is likely to go up. So one could actually uh, play for these changes over the next 2-3 days particularly for 30th of November. One could uh, take positions in these stocks depending upon uh, their change in the weightages. Mahindra Mahindra is likely to buy the 40% uh, stake in Aston Martin which is the maker of premium cars and on the back of that one can go long on Mahindra with a stop loss of 9.35 and a target of about 9.83 to 1000. And there is a buzz in the street that Etihad of Middle East is likely to pick up a stake in Jet Airways 
and the pricing at which this deal could take place could be around uh, almost about 9,400 crore, which is about 1.7 billion dollars, whereas the current valuation of jet is about 4,366 crore. So this deal may happen at a steep uh, premium to the current valuation. We've seen Jet Airways running up on Friday, but uh, there is a possibility of some more upside on the back of this news. One can go along with the stop loss of 496 and a target of about 521 to 531. And for BPCA, there are some positive news and the uh, Ministry of Environment and Forest has given appearance uh, uh, for the expansion of the uh, refinery at Kochi from about 9.5 million tons to almost about 15.5 million tons. So one can go long on BPCL with a stop loss of 314 and a target of about 331 to 336. Tata Steel has actually laid off about uh, 900 odd people in UK as a part of the major restructuring uh, that the company is doing and overall environment for steel has not been good and even the recent numbers that the company reported have not uh, been that impressive. But since the stock has corrected quite a bit, uh, this could provide some kind of a pullback. So one can go long on the uh, Strata Steel with a stop loss of 357 and a target of about 375 to 382. And there's a buzz in the market that uh, Karnataka Bank could be taken over by ICICI Bank and we've seen Karnataka Bank stock actually moving up to almost about 150, 155 from the price of about 100 and the price or the valuation at which this deal is likely to go through is about uh, 2 to 2.5 times uh, price to book which could be about 200 to 225. So this process may take a while, it may not happen immediately but this buzz is very much strongly uh, uh, there in the market so one can keep an eye on, on uh, Karnataka Bank in particular. That's it from all of us friends, have a nice trading session and see you tomorrow at the same time.